Sophie Nikolaevich Kirsanov. Please meet my old friend, Anna Sergeyevna Udnestov. I've heard so much about you, Arkady. Uh, what? You're right, he was actually a Pole. <gasps> oh, oh, you're his friend. Yes, the one with the reputation. Yes, no, I, I meant I've heard so much about you as well, everything except your name. Well, no, not everything. Please, I, Arkady, you're starting to sound like Victor. Not so much a stage adaptation as a reimagining of Ivan Turgenev's novel, uh, Fathers and Sons. It's about youth's eternal desire to change the world for the better. The two central characters, Bazarov and Arkady Kirsanov, uh, return to their home district after graduating from university. And uh, when they get there, they find Arkady's father, uh, Nikolai Kirsanov, uh, trying to cope with the social changes that are coming because of the emancipation of the serfs. This is the fifth walker I've directed for the university. He's written, boy, about 50 plays now, all of them dark comedies, all of them done all over the world. Uh, especially this one. Some people say this is his best play. But actually, over rehearsals, I've come to agree with that opinion. Actually, I think it is his best play. Uh, and it's been done all over the States, all over Europe. Uh, it's a, a, a play that's had an enormous impact. The play is uh, from 1988. Uh, it's uh, a play for which Walker won the Governor General's Award that year. It's been revised in 2015, and we are the first theatre company to produce the new version of the play. The, the biggest change is the new scene of it. I mean, there's a whole new scene. Uh, because, and I think it's, he wrote it partly because he wanted to make a few things clear about Finichka. One thing when I was reading the play uh, was I was kind of, I kind of brushed off the character of Finichka, who is uh, the young housekeeper uh, in the play, um, and having the chance to direct the new scene that uh, Walker added between Anna and Finichka, I really realized where, oh, I kind of read her as just a, a timid young girl, but then actually working with um, the actor and the new script, there was a lot of opportunities for her to really make to have a journey from a more submissive character into, into a, a woman who has a voice and has something to say. Uh, most of the other changes are cuts to make them sharper, uh, to make the scenes move along a little bit more rapidly. I've told you, she doesn't really want us to kill him. We're to talk to him about a resolve. But that in itself might kill him. He'd be horrified. I'm a bit horrified just thinking about it. Your uncle has made a serious mistake. Anna is a woman of the new age. She has no time for fending off crazed suitors. She has ambitions. She intends to become politically influential. A woman? Would you say that to her face? I meant the odds against that would be astronomical. Would you say that to her face? I need to sit down. I'm tired. Why do we have to walk everywhere? It saves money. Keeps us fit. Get out. No. Besides, I'm in no hurry to face my uncle. Honestly, I just don't think it my place to give him romantic advice. I'll do it. Oh, yes, and gently too, I suppose. I'll state the case, very calmly and clearly. There will be no emotion. A simple understanding will be reached. He'll slap your face or something. That's what this generation does, you know? Well, then I'll slap him back, and I'll keep slapping him until he listens to reason. Uh, there's an element of the plot uh, that is much more important than I realized once I saw the play up and rehearsing, and that's the tension that you often feel when you're young, uh, the tension you feel between your family and your friends. Right? and how they often pull you in different directions. And uh, I don't think I realized to what extent this is Arkady's story uh, and how he's torn between wanting to please this university friend that he looks up to and uh, the feelings of love for his family, which he rediscovers when he goes back to the family farm. Right? And I think one way or the other, we've all lived that story. That was the other thing that was uh, really fun for me in this production, was to be able to work with different generations of black holers. We've got fathers being played by people who are old enough to be fathers. In fact, in one case, our fathers uh, of grown-up kids and uh, current theater students playing the sons. And that became part of the fabric of the production, right? Uh, that there was. Uh, the generation of the fathers and the generation of the sons. However, in the production, we got along a whole lot better than they do in the play, I have to say. There's moments in this play that are hilarious, there are moments that are touching, and it all just wraps itself up beautifully at the end.
it's a good story. Walker tells it very well. As, as Chloe says, it's moving and it's funny, sometimes at the same time. Um, you won't be bored. <laughs> More champagne? Mm. Yes, please. I'll join you. Found your pudding again, have you? Go ahead, Anna. Yes? The reason we're all here. Or do we have to guess? Very well. You want us to murder someone? <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Good for Bizarro. Who is it this time? One of those badgering old lechers who are always chasing you all over Russia? He's not a lecher. He's a deeply disturbed man. His name is Pavel Petrovich Kirsinov, and I'd like him dead within the week. But, but that's his, no, consider it done. Let's drink to it. But that's my uncle. We know. Let's drink to it. <laughs>